Welcome to Java Forum. Now I am going to show you how to install Oracle Linux 9.2 on VirtualBox 7.0. So Oracle Linux 9.2 is the latest version. So before installing, let me show the VirtualBox version. So this is the updated version of VirtualBox. VirtualBox 7.0.8. Make sure that you have updated the VirtualBox. Okay, now let us start. So I am going to create one new virtual machine, Oracle Linux 9.2 virtual machine. So I am giving some na name to the virtual machine. And also I am providing the path where the virtual machine files are getting stored. So browse uh, Oracle Linux 9.2 DVD ISO file. Skip the unwanted installation. Okay, I am going to provide 8 GB RAM and 4 CPU core. What is GB artist? Okay, settings, cyclic settings, uh, system, uncheck the floppy, and optical drive is the first device to get boot. Pointing device will be USB tablet. Network, uh, I'm choosing host only adapter. So network, I'm choosing host only adapter, which means I can't uh, able to connect internet from virtual machine. Okay. So it's a purely offline installation. Okay, so uh, let us start the installation of Oracle Linux 9.2. Okay, uh, English United States uh, is my default language. Installation destination, uh, select uh, hard disk and uh, time and date as per my location and select the time and date. Software selection will be server with guy. So provide the root password. Okay, begin the installation. So installation is completed. Let me reboot Oracle Linux 9.2. So Oracle Linux 9.2 I have rebooted. So still some uh, some setup uh, steps are there. So I am completing the steps. So provide the login username. So this uh, username we are going to login and provide the password for the login user. Okay, so uh, we have installed the operating system successfully. Okay, now what I am going to do, I am going to mount Oracle Linux 9.2 DVD ISO file. So now what I am going to do, I am going to copy some RPM files uh, from this DVD ISO file. So these RPM files are required by VirtualBox guest edition software. So these RPM files are nothing but uh, dependencies uh, required by uh, VirtualBox guest edition software. So these are the list of files. So I have opened the terminal. Uh, from this terminal I am going to uh, install these RPM files in single shot. So switch as a root user, only root user only can install the RPM files. So I am installing these RPM files in single shot. All the RPM files are available in Oracle Linux 9.2 DVD ISO file itself. No need to download from internet. So uh, RPM dependencies are got installed. So uh, here uh, I am going to tell you one important note here. So Oracle Linux 9.2 comes with two kernels, okay, 5.14 and 5.15. So by default, 5.15 will be enabled. Okay, 5.14 kernel will not be enabled. Okay, 
So we are installing the guest edition software only for the kernel 5.14. Okay. So keep in mind that this guest edition software will work only for the kernel 5.14. Okay. So now I have mounted the guest edition software uh, CD image. So now I am copying the content of uh, VirtualBox guest edition uh, locally. From here only I am going to install the guest edition. Okay, open terminal, switch as a root user. So give the permission. So now let me uh, install the virtual box guest edition software dot slash vbox Linux edition start run. So as I have told you, uh, this guest edition uh, module will work only for kernel 5.14. So you can see that uh, the process uh, is still running. You can terminate the process. Okay. Uh, which means that uh, see here uh, it's, it is taking some time so I have terminated the process so I am sure that uh, guest edition software has got installed okay so I terminate the process and reboot Okay, I am going to restart. Okay. So here I am facing another problem. Uh, after installing the guest edition software, uh, still you can see that blank screen is still rotating. So I am uh, identifying uh, the what is the cause. So in my scenario, I identified that uh, USB uh, device is not working for this uh, virtual machine. Okay. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to power off this uh, virtual machine and change the uh, USB device setting. So this is the problem I identified. So I have powered off the virtual machine. Okay. Shared clipboard, drag and drop, I have enabled to bidirectional. Next come to system, motherboard. Okay, so pointing device instead of USB tablet, I have changed to PS2 mouse. Okay, so after changing this, uh, it's working for me. So uh, in the comments, uh, please mention okay for you whether uh, USB tablet is working or not. Or uh, see now you can see the two kernels are coming in uh, boot menu. So I am choosing kernel 5.14. So as I told you, uh, only kernel 5.14. Uh, will work for uh, virtual box case session. Okay, now uh, I open the terminal. So I am type some commands. Okay, so currently I am the kernel 5.14. Okay, let me copy and paste. Yes, I can able to copy the content from Oracle Next 9.2 virtual machine and paste in Windows host machine. Okay, now let me try from Windows host machine to Oracle Linux 9.2 virtual machine. Yes, I can be able to copy paste. Okay, once again, I remind you, this guest edition software will work only for kernel 5.14. Uh, also, uh, comment whether you face this uh, USB tablet issue in your scenario.